the Henry single shot slug barrel shotgun. Let's check it out. Henry Repeating Arms is known for its lever action rifles and they make some of the best lever action rifles on the market. Uh, all the way from rimfire all the way up to 4570. I mean, you name it, Henry makes it. A lot of times in the brass receivers, steel receivers, different type finishes. Again, tons of different calibers. Uh, they have ventured out over the past few years and have even made lever action shotguns. Single barrel uh, shotguns as well and that's what we're looking at today. Uh, this is a rifle slug barrel shotgun. They do make it in a standard 12 gauge for just field use and also 410 and 20 gauge and youth models. I mean, Henry, when they start something, they really take care of the whole gamut. Uh, but today we are looking at the slug barrel shotgun. Now, the great thing about this is, is we can shoot slugs, but we can also shoot buckshot, field loads, and things like that. We're also going to be talking about the reasons why you would want a single barrel shotgun. I mean, let's face it. I mean, we live in a world of high capacity. I mean, as many rounds as you can get, the better. Why in the world would you want something that's slow to load? You know, you've got one shot and then you've, you're, you're ready to load again. I mean, it's just a very simple design. And that has a lot to do with why the single barrel shotgun is very popular because it is handy, it's light, it's great in the field. And probably one of the biggest reasons is that kids, myself included, it was their first firearm. And now that they're adults, you know, they want to pick up a nice single barrel shotgun, but there are some other reasons as well. And we want to thank Henry for sending the single shot slug barrel shotgun for this review. The old single barrel shotgun. Uh, these have just been popular for over a hundred years. I mean, these are just great, easy, handy, utilitarian shotguns. Uh, a lot of guys start out with their very first shotgun as one of these single shots, and that's what I did. I started out with a Stevens. It was a Woodstock, just basic. I ended up refinishing the stock. I even touched up a lot of the bluing with cold blue. It didn't look the greatest, but it was my shotgun, and I loved it. Uh, it's really simple. You know, this is something that for a kid, you can give it to him if you've got property. Uh, and that's what I did. I went out my grandfather's property, shot a lot of rabbits, a lot of quail, squirrel. I mean, it was fun. And it was really easy. And again, it was light. It was handy. It was just easy to use. And that's not changed since I've gotten older. A lot of times there are places that only allow for shotgun hunting. And so this gives you a number of different options, especially with 12 gauge, but even with other calibers, 20 gauge and 410. There's a lot of different choices. You can go all the way down to just your target field loads and you can run it up to slugs in this shotgun in particular. Of course, we can shoot other rounds through this as well, but it's set up with the sights to be able to optimize those slugs. And guys, there's a ton of different slug options out there. Is this a home defense shotgun? You know, if that's all you have, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it because it is one shot and you do need to reload, but it is capable. Another thing about single barrel shotguns is typically they're less expensive. They're less expensive to produce and a lot of times you can find older shotguns that are single barrel for a very reasonable price. And if you want to go hunting, again, it gives you all the different calibers to be able to go all the way from, you know, big game all the way down to small game. The maintenance on these, simple, very easy to maintain, uh, you know, that you can break them down very simply. We'll look at that with this particular Henry. The actions are very simple. 
Uh, it's very handy, it's very streamlined, it's very lightweight. And it's reliable. It doesn't matter what you put in here. You don't have to worry about it malfunctioning. Whether you go all the way to the buckshot or slugs, all the way down to mini shells. So, you know, it just gives you a lot of versatility. And it's ambidextrous. Doesn't matter which side you're shooting it from, if you're a lefty or if you're right-handed. I mean, it's just there. And all the controls are right there together. So it's a very simple, easy to clean, optimal type firearm. And again, the only limitation really is that it's just single shot, but yet it can be very effective. Of course, first thing we want to do is to check to make sure the gun is unloaded. So we're going to break open our latch and the gun is empty. Uh, one of the things about this latch is that it goes either way. So you can go this way to open it or you can go this way. So, you know, either way you do it, you're locked in. Also, if you have the hammer in the rear position, it will not unlock. So that makes it really safe. There's also a hammer block safety in here, so the trigger has to be pulled to disengage that uh, firing pin block, and that's going to make it drop safe. Now here we have some dummy rounds. We're just going to pop them in here, pop that down. It locks up really nice and solid. You'll notice that the, the ejector, when you pop it up, it throws the rounds out, and then you're able to go ahead and insert your next round. So really, you can get pretty quick with this shotgun. And then again, pop it out. The American Walnut stock with a pistol grip, you have checkering. Uh, it is just absolutely beautiful. I mean, the wood is just gorgeous. Has a nice finish to it. Again, here on the forearm, we have nice checkering on either side. We have a solid rubber butt pad with a spacer right here. Uh, 14 inch length of pull, but this is excellent for those slugs or again, all the way down to buckshot, birdshot, whatever you're gonna shoot. And we have sling swivel studs here on the back and also right here on the forearm. It has a 24 inch slug barrel and we do have sights and we're gonna take a closer look at these fiber optic sights. It does come in a solid brass receiver, but this one is steel. It handles up to three inch slugs and it does have the rifled barrel. On their standard 12 gauge, it'll handle three and a half inch and it has a 28 inch barrel. Now being a rifled slug barrel, shooting buckshot, it's fine. Shooting regular field loads is fine. Uh, one of the problems is you're not going to have a choke, so you're going to have your patterns to scatter somewhat. Uh, we decided to go ahead and shoot all those just to give you an idea of what it'll do uh, on a target. Now, there is a possibility if you shoot a lot that it can foul up the rifling, so you want to be careful. Uh, a steady diet of buckshot through a rifled barrel is probably not the best idea, and again, you are going to get that spread. Now being a slug barrel, there's no choke, uh, and which is typical for a cylinder bore type choke system. And so this is just open, great for slugs, it is a rifled barrel. So if you're going to shoot anything other than slugs, it's the same as shooting it through a cylinder bore. The rear sight has red fiber optics, uh, it is adjustable with this set screw and so you can adjust for windage. And at the front it has a green fiber optic sight. Now that red fiber optic back sight, it corresponds really nicely with the green. And there's that green front sight. And when it corresponds with that red, that contrast really makes it a nice sight picture. And it's drilled and tapped for a weaver scope base. The spur hammer has serrations, really easy to bring back. It has a recess in the barrel lock so you can just easily push that side to side. Now as far as the trigger action, pull back our hammer, it is single action. So typically they have really nice trigger pulls. There's no take up. It breaks really cleanly. And again, there's no reset. It's just a very simple design. Okay, we're gonna check the trigger pull weight with our Lyman trigger gauge from Brownells. Uh, I do wanna mention that I don't get any compensation for that. Brownells sent it, and so I always say it. Two pounds, 7.5 ounces. Two pounds, 8.6 ounces. We really appreciate Fiocchi for sponsoring the ammo, but we are going to be shooting mainly slugs. This is a rifle barrel. It is made to shoot slugs. But we're also going to test some target loads and some buckshot just to see how they're patterned and they should really have a widespread. They're, it's not really made for this. Uh, but mainly want to show people, especially if you buy one, you throw some birdshot in there, you're going to understand that it's not really going to be that effective. Now to load this lever in the back, just pop it and you can pop this open. And then you just drop your round in and then you close it. Now, if we want to open it, it will eject the round just like that.
Now guys, one of the things about a single barrel shotgun is it just slows things down a bit. Uh, you know, you're loading one shell at a time, of course, you know, when you hit that break action and that shell goes flying out. If you're ready with that second round, it just makes it really easy to pop in there. Uh, it's a really handy rifle. I mean, it's lightweight, it's very streamlined, it's very simple. Uh, you can shoot it from right to left handed. There's no difference. <laughs> I mean, if you're a lefty, you can pick this up just like you could if you're a right handed guy. And so it just makes it very simple. With these iron sights, though, it really gives you some more pinpoint accuracy with slugs. And, you know, out to 100 yards, a slug barreled shotgun uh, can be very deadly, very accurate. Uh, but the great thing about having a single barrel shotgun is that you don't have to worry about reliability. You put it in there, it fires. It's a very simple action. And that's probably one of the biggest appeals of the single barrel shotgun. Was it hitting my ear? Almost. It's just like grazing you. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, it's, it's actually fairly quick to load. Yeah. If you had a little pouch here to be able to put them in. Like it's remembering to bring that hammer yeah, back. That's it. Well, you know, that's the thing. I didn't feel like, even coming out of my pocket here, I didn't feel like I fumbled at all putting the shells in, but it's just remembering to cock the hammer each time. Right. You're just so used to different actions. Yep. Yep. But even with slugs, that was really soft shooting. Yeah. I thought. I have an old Stevens 12 gauge single shot uh, shotgun, 12 gauge. My grandfather gave it to me. Uh, before he passed away and it has kind of a plastic type weird stock on it and you know the finish is kind of rough i love that old shotgun but it's it's pretty beat up i mean it's an older type shotgun it wasn't the best even when it was sold originally but with the henry i mean they put a lot of quality into these and so handling this at the range it just gives you a sense of, of good quality and you know you slow it down to one round at a time it's great for teaching young shooters and of course you can dial that down to just bird loads, target loads, or even mini shells, just really low recoil. It's a very versatile platform and I think that's one of the, another big appeal of a single barrel shotgun. The big thing is for hunting, I mean, you can go all the way from big game all the way down to birds and squirrels uh, and rabbits with a single barrel shotgun. And so it's a very versatile gun and it's one of the reasons why it stood the test of time. Yes, I can get a 12 gauge with up to 15 round mag capacity, uh, but it's big and cumbersome and it's not really that practical for the field. And it's one of the things about a single barrel shotgun, you can hunt with this in about every state, anywhere. Uh, you know, the restrictions aren't, don't really apply to this because it's just one round at a time. But if you need that second shot, it doesn't take much to be able to throw that round in. Then if you want to shoot skeet, there you go, you got a skeet gun. So very versatile, a lot of fun, and just, I really love the old single barrel shotguns. Now, because this is a rifled barrel, we wanted to test out the target loads to see what kind of pattern we could get, and also for the buckshot. Uh, it shouldn't be that stable, but we're gonna be shooting only at 10 yards just to kind of get a feel for it. First is the field loads. Next, we're shooting buckshot. And now we're going to shoot a slug. Let's check it out. Now with the target loads, I mean, it peppered this entire area. And that's only at 10 yards. So it just really just blew it out. Uh, then we had the buckshot, which is right here. Even took the wadding. You can see a couple of rounds here. So it's, it's not really separated, but it never really came apart. And then we have our slug right here. And of course, that's pretty definite. This is a rifled barrel, so slugs are really what need to be fired through this. Tell you what, from the bench, you feel a lot more recoil. Now let's check to make sure the gun is unloaded. We're gonna open it up because we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to remove the barrel. Now right here is your barrel pin. It'll go in and out either way. And so you just take 
a wood dowel, brass rod, or here I have just a pen, we can pop that right out. And you'll notice there's a little groove right here in the pen, and that's going to keep it from coming out, especially once it's set in place. Now you can see the quality. I mean, the bluing is really beautiful. Here is your ejector at the back. It's very well made, which is typical for Henry. And then here, of course, you have the receiver. And you want to just keep this clean right here, but it makes it really simple to be able to maintain in the field. So if you have any kind of issues or you just want to clean your shotgun, you can break that down really easily. Now when it comes to removing the forearm, uh, just a Phillips head screwdriver, you can pop that out and you can take this off. One of the things that Henry even says in their owner's manual is this doesn't have to be uh, broken down to clean, which makes it really simple and that's again one of the appeals of a single barrel shotgun. Now for reassembly, you have a small pin right here that sticks out on either side and it correlates with your receiver. So you just want to kind of slide it into that, go ahead and lock it up, then just take your pin and push it right through. It's really easy. The overall length is 39.5 inches and that is with the 24 inch barrel. And the weight is 6.86 pounds. And Henry offers a lifetime service warranty. And the manufacturer suggested retail price is $587 and of course market price is going to be less. I mean guys, this is a really high quality shotgun. And a lot of times with single barrel shotguns, they can be very inexpensive. But with the quality that goes behind the bluing, the American Walnut stocks, the lockup system, the safe system. And of course, this does have your fiber optics, uh, rifled sights. And then again, you can get the standard 12 gauge version. Now, as far as pros and cons, beautiful rifle, beautiful bluing. The Walnut stocks are just gorgeous. Uh, the fit and finish is excellent. And all that is what Henry does with all their firearms. Uh, with the slug version, you do have a slug barrel, so you're able to shoot slugs without any problems, and you have your rifled sights with the fiber optic, uh, and they are adjustable. And you do have your rail if you do want to put some kind of optic on here. The auto ejection is very positive, uh, very nice. Uh, either way, you push this lever, I mean, it opens up. Very simple to disassemble and simple to maintain, and that's one of the big appeals of a single barrel shotgun. Uh, if you're in the field, it's really easy to clean, easy to maintain, very handy rifle. Uh, it's so versatile, there's so many different things that you can do with it. As far as cons go, I mean, it is designated as a rifled barrel for shotgun. And so, you know, if you really want to shoot a lot of different type shells in it, uh, and you want the three and a half inch, then go with the Henry three and a half inch standard shotgun. And it's going to have all the same features, except it's going to have a bead sight. And then again, you've got your 410 and your 20 gauge as well. And they have youth models that have a little bit shorter length of pull. But this is an excellent firearm for beginning shooters. And you can start them out with really mild loads. And you can work it up to those heavier, you know, buckshot and slug loads. But one of the things to me that is really great about these single barrel shotguns is just the nostalgia. I mean, the quality, uh, the tradition of just going out, especially as a youth, and this being my first shotgun, it makes it an excellent gift for that first gun for those new shooters. And again, it's so simple, easy to use. It's not complicated like a lot of the semi-automatics or for that matter, even the pumps. It's just a very simple design. Uh, this stood the test of time. The price is definitely a factor and it's higher than most of your other single barrel shotguns. But Henry decided they wanted to make something of really nice quality and yet retain that very simple, handy, utilitarian features. And it's made right here in the USA, which is a huge plus. So guys, if you're a big fan of single barrel shotguns, or you don't have one and you would really like to add one to your collection, uh, the, the Henry is the top of the food chain. I mean, the quality, the fit and the finish, made all here in America, beautiful American walnut stocks, uh, very simple, very easy, very handy. And this is really a utility shotgun. It's one of those things you don't have to worry that it's going to malfunction because they just work. And you don't have to worry about the shells coming out because it throws them out. And so check out the Henry, whether it's the slug barreled shotgun or even some of their other just standard 12, 20, or 410s. Um, and Henry Arms, again, is making some of the best quality traditional style firearms out there on the market. And again, we really appreciate Henry for sending the single shot slug barrel 12 gauge shotgun for this review. Man, this just slowed things down a bit, but it didn't take any of the fun away. We had a great time at the range. Now we really appreciate Sportsman's Guide for being one of our sponsors. 
and they give a $20 off every $100 or more purchase using Such, no zero zero. And they have all kind of outdoor related, camping, hiking, you name it, they've got it. But one thing that I use them probably the most for is their military surplus from around the world. And if you join their buyers club, you get a better price and you get free shipping on most items. So check out Sportsman's Guide. It's a great resource. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Check it out. Let's check it out. Thumbs way up. That it? Well, you know, we could just sit here and go, well, and you know, okay, uh, sort of. The Henry single shot, and to me, heirloom type firearms. I mean, firearms, firearms, firearms. Henry, Henry. Okay, we're going? Yes, sir. We live, baby, we live. And again, we really appreciate Henry for sending. <laughs> sending, we're thinning. You're thinning that rough. Was me for loving you, baby. You, you know I'm gonna be singing that the rest of the day. Huh? I'm gonna be singing that the rest of the day. Just watch <laughs> it on YouTube. Then you'll be really singing it for the next week.